It was exciting. I mean, we were nervous because, you know, it's a different era of movie making. When we made the first movie, you know, it was simply uh, a 2D animated mo movie, sort of a bigger story uh, of, from what we'd been doing on the TV show with a little bit of live action. And then it became clear once we got started in this that it was going to be a, a much larger kind of movie. And so it was exciting. I mean, you know, it's 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 been a challenge. We've been doing the show so long. It was, for me, it was like, I couldn't wait to get involved because it, you know, it just feels like some, it's like a whole new project, you know, something completely different. Our experience had been with uh, trying to translate SpongeBob and CG had always been bad, but then we got hooked up with Allura, this company that's doing that CG, and right out of the gate from their first test, we realized, you know, oh wow, this actually can look great, and uh, so you know. It didn't. It wasn't hard to to you know give ourselves over to that decision of like, yeah, we want to do this. It's going to look good and and it's different and it's something new and and you know it's exciting for us. So. Steve and I set out kind of figuring out the story. We said like, let's try to make let's try to bring as much new stuff to everything. You know, so the idea of the CG was new. The idea of how they were going to go on land that was all new. Uh, showing Bikini Bottom in its sort of post-apocalyptic um, setting, that was all new because, you know, it was a way to show these settings that people have been looking at for 15 years and, you know, kind of tweak them a little bit. And, and in, in a funny way, I mean, we're not, you know, we're not trying to be too heavy. It's not Mad Max or anything like that, but, you know, it's, it was just, it was cool to see familiar things in a different way. So we tried from frame one on to sort of say, let's kind of not do anything that we've ever done before. And I think we, we succeeded, you know, I, I, hope, I hope it comes across that way, at least in the film. This idea of the, of the superhero characters, you know, it was just sort of an idea of like, well, if they're going to land again, let's think of something different. And so it became, you know, this sort of battle against the supervillain for possession of the greatest hamburger recipe in the world. Once he had that beard on and, and was there on the set, he's like, he's an insanely physical guy and like, he's, and he's funny too. I mean, he's, you know, I, I kept saying like, you know, if he, he's kind of, he, he was reminding me of Buster Keaton sometimes, like things he was doing with his body, you know, they aren't just jumping out of the way of explosions. He's, he's adding, you know, funny, funny bits into his, his physical performance and I think he did a great job and he's, you know, he, he definitely gets the joke and he's, he's got a great comic sensibility and, you know, I think he uh, ended up being, being perfect for the role. And we wanted to, obviously we wanted to try to find a way to set up this classic story of, you know, two, two people that are enemies that have to unite and maybe find out along the way that they're not as bad as the other one thought and uh, work together for a common goal and and you know the idea of introducing this sort of person that is narrating the story but then is actually altering the story um, we you know we thought that was a pretty a pretty interesting way to again it was all in service of how do we get them all online on land what starts out as another typical attempt by Plankton to steal the Krabby Patty formula it turns into something completely different and f kind of forces, turns everyone against Spongebob and Plankton and, and forces them to kind of act together to figure out this problem and help put Bikini Bottom back to where, where, it, where it should be, put, restore order to, to things. I think it's a, you know, I mean, I think there's a lot of, uh, kind of sly adult humor in there and there's there's broad stuff for kids and you know I think we we've been we've tried to be really faithful so that the fan the fan base will be you know satisfied and they'll they'll get what they're used to seeing on a bigger scale and I think that the chase scene like all of the live action stuff I mean our 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 main goal was we wanted to feel like the show we want to give it the same energy we want to have the same kind of humor and I mean obviously it's a different way of doing it but we wanted to just to make sure that we were able to 
continue that and capture it. And, and the, the, you know, Antonio's kind of very animated performance, you know, it all just sort of, I mean, I think that all that stuff, that, that idea was just, we want this to feel like the cartoon, but look like something different.